you. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a whirl of a time playing these H.I.O. games. Uh, this is the next step of my H.I.O. Odyssey. This is the testimony of Trixie Glimmer Smith. And yes, yes, I did forget the intro, and that's why there was an odd pause. This is another visual novel. I'm not super keen on playing several in a row because it's it takes quite a lot of energy to, to like continuously talk for half an hour. Uh, also, I've not played Parsnip, which is uh, a precursor to this, but whatever. We're going to dive on in. My name, Trixie Glimmer Smith. Right, it's two weeks to, uh, till my coursework deadline. Time to start this report on... Blue Hill Country Cultural Exports, 1800 to 1900. I sat and stared at the brief for about 10 minutes. Okay, no more slacking. It's time to get to work. I noticed I just clicked to a two hour video essay about memes on video.com. Before I had any more time to be distracted, there was a loud knock at my door. I jumped. Knocking my cereal over, milk and chocolate covered sugar flakes spilled across my generic student accommodation carpet. Someone outside yelled. Trixie Glimmer Smith, open up. We have something to discuss. I recognised the voice. It was Nikita, my course's top student. We didn't talk often because she's kind of horrible. Alright, so I made a joke. I did that is because the music was like more serious, um, and then it immediately went into this. And it's like some like college stuff. And this is this is very very intense music. Like I'm just I'm worried that like I, like I don't know if I played a visual novel one. Like, hang on, that music is a different genre than what I'm playing. Uh, it's slightly distracting. That's all. Oh, I'll, I'll admit it's fine. But uh, like this is clearly a comedy scene, right? Oh, there's some spilled cereals. Uh, there's some uh, toilet to to tissues there. Good to have a cold one, isn't But um, I know, it's still unseen. Uh, there's still like, uh, toilet tissue on the table. It's a comedy scene. Isn't it? Anyway, um, and then there's like, boom, boom. And, like, do you know what I mean? It's good music. It's just. Uh, I'm not so certain if it's the scene. I slammed the space bar as quickly opened up a website on a ship. It wasn't really relevant to my work, but I hoped it might look educational enough to make Nikita judge me slightly less. Nikita scared the crap out of me and I didn't want to keep her waiting, so I ignored the puddle of chocolate milk seeping into my cup and opened the door. Nikita immediately marched straight into my room without asking and I ended up backed into my desk. Hi right, Trixie. To do me a favour. Her eyes briefly glanced at the cereal bottle, who quickly locked back onto me like lasers of a sniper rifle trained on my skull. I instinctively sat down in my chair and looked up at Nikita. I probably looked s s subby. Pretty subby? I don't know what that means. I probably look pretty subby. It would almost be kind of hot if I wasn't a fucking loser. Well, I don't know what that said. Hi Nikita, how are you today? It's cute that you, you made her interrupt, but I didn't have time to read it. Look, Trixie, if I hadn't bailed you out on the last time by doing your coursework for you, you'd be a fucking... You'd be fucking dead, right? I, I, I need to actually read the stuff. I mean, I'd not go that far. You'd be living in a bush, eating dirt because you don't want to go home for your family and admit you fucked up your education by sleeping through the entire term. I mean, that's a little hard. Okay, so, uh, another word on tone. Uh, so, I'm getting the idea, because, like, there's this kind of cutesy animal people, but it, it wants to tell a serious story. That's sort of the tone it's going for. I'm still not sure this music suits it, but like, I don't mind the like, cartoon style. Of the movie. I think that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
but also playing video games, writing raunchy fan fiction for the uh, and growing breasts. Uh, it would be nice uh, to get some recognition for that for once. I know it was. Oh yeah, no, little um, But I mean, you just ignore that bit. But listen, my point is, you owe me big time for literally saving your life. You didn't literally save my life, what the fuck? Whatever. Look, I just want you to find a play script, it's easy. Oh, is that all? I mean, sure, I can do that. I guess you can just help me a lot, right? So I mentioned the toilet, the tissues before. Uh, the toilet, the toilet, the tissue, whatever. Uh, and it's, it's a shit, it's tricky. Uh, uh, but it's still like used cold tissue. So it's, uh, and, uh, um, sorry, it's just uh, you were being really aggressive, so I assumed you were going to make me kill someone or something. Abby, maybe. You hate him. Miss Knight is a try-hard bitch, wasting everyone's time by running against me for student president. But I don't need her dead. I need to keep her around to make me look good. Heavy keeps the psychic crystals in a bra to prevent the lunar interference. Okay, that might be just a made-up word. Uh, which I'm pretty sure isn't even a word. Finish the line. It's a pretty low standard to make you look good. I felt pretty bad saying that to Tabby. was really nice even if she was a little crappy. And didn't really notice me. I'd said, interference definitely isn't a word. I'm not very likeable, so I need all the help I can get. So hopefully this is better. Uh, I'm not very like. Oh, uh, yes. Anyway, shut up. Your laptop is playing a video called Sheep Falling Over Compilation 6. While your coursework paper is titled, and I quote, Stard soon. Are you going to help me? Or am I going to have to get to never... Am I going to have to never bail you out? Are you going to help me? Or am I just going to have to never bail you out of one of your fuck-ups ever uh, up again. That is a really clumsy sentence, and a part of it is just like, I'm just failing to read it as well, I'm quite tired, so, uh, but like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just, uh, I don't mean to be picky, but, um, I glanced at my laptop, epicsheepfalls.com, it wasn't as educational as I thought, I was listening to it. Fine, what do you want exactly, more specifically? Uh, than a play script. Last night I was walking back from the library and I noticed some paper fluttering about. I don't usually make a point of picking stuff up off the floor, uh, but something drew me to it. I picked it up and realised it contained writing. I read it right there in the courtyard. When I finished reading, I stood in silence for some time. I read the excerpt from The King in Yellow. I don't know how it got there, but I'm certain if the page was there, then the rest must be nearby. A surviving copy of the infamous Cursed Play. Do you realise how important that is? Oh yes, that's H.P. Lovecraft. No, it's not, John. Bloody hell. Bloody hell! It's, it's famously not... It's... it's the, the King in Yellow is... I don't know who it is, but it's somebody who was before... H.P. Lovecraft, who inspired H.P. Lovecraft, I think. Well, hang on. It's not called The King in Yellow, is it? The King in Yellow is a play, a fictional play in... Carcosa? It might still be... They might both be called The King in Yellow. I know it's Carcosa, though. Um, anyway. I'm gonna say Robert... I don't know exactly, but okay. This again is quite a mix of styles. Continue then. I heard rumours of the King in Yellow and of the ghastly writings within. I very much doubt Nikita had found a page lying around at the university. Copies were meant to be impossible to get hold of. Supposedly all lost, hidden or burnt long ago. I... Wow, I always assumed that the play was kind of a myth. Are you sure it was legit? Maybe you found part of someone's fan fiction. Nikita slammed her fist onto my desk 
with a bang. And specifically, I, I'd heard of the King in Yellow already. Um, I think a lot of people who may not have heard of it uh, would have learned a lot of knowledge, gleaned some knowledge from um, uh, that series. What's it called? American Crime? It's not called American Crime. True Crime? True American? I think you know what I mean. I think if you're watching, it, it was just a like a HBO detective series, but it was uh, it had a kind of it spoke about Car Carcosa. I think a bunch of people probably went, "Oh, what's Carcosa? Oh, what's the King in Yellow?" Um, anyway, I mention this because the only reason I know it is because I play an Arkham Palmer game, which is why I said HP Lovecraft. And one of the episodes, let's call them episodes, is the King in Yellow. And I know, so I know the rules of the King in Yellow, according to that game, which is anyone who watches that play goes insane. But the interesting thing about the play, and the reason why I've gone on this tangent, which is sort of implying that I just think this tangent is more interesting than the game, I shouldn't do that probably, uh, is that like the first half of the play is a bit boring and it meanders and doesn't go anywhere. And I just think that's kind of, that's really interesting in and of itself. Like, passively, it's just a bit rubbish. Like, it has this reputation. Like, it's so hard to get the King in Yellow to play in your town. And uh, it's got this reputation about it. Uh, uh, but, like, when looking at it, it's just mundane. And it's like, oh, it's just not really going anywhere. <laughs> and I really like that because it's... It's it's like an incantation, isn't it? It's mundane because it's not really a play. Something else is going on. Uh, I'm trying to, like... I don't know what from the Arkham LCG is canon to the original book. There's a mysterious stranger and in the play. And I don't think he's an actor, but he's an actor in the play. Because that's the point, right? There's something weird going on. Like, yeah, you know, I don't even know where he came from that. Like, all the other actors know of him, but they don't know his name, and he's just in the play doing his part. Anyway, I assume that character is at least mentioned in the actual original story. I think it's a short story. I could probably read it. <gasps> hmm. I'm actually genuinely going to pause for a brief second. I, I get it'll cut. It'll be instant. Right, it's uh, it's Robert Chambers. So yeah, got that right. Uh, I spent ages trying to remember YouTuber to see if he'd read the story, but no, that story is like six hours to read, uh, and he he read a couple of half an hour ones. Um, anyway, uh, there's another character called Haster, which I think is been is the H.B. Lovecraft like inspiration character. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about things that aren't this game and play this game. Slam. Nikita slammed her fist into my desk with a bang. I know it's real. Sorry. It's okay, you're probably right. Only a real loser would write fan fiction about the king in yellow. A completed play would be of immeasurable importance to my studies. I could write my entire thesis analyzing how it affected folklore both locally and worldwide. I need the full copy. Now, after the initial shock of finding it set in, I started sneezing and concluded there must be some kind of allergen on the paper. I happen to be allergic to exactly one thing in the world. Not being a bitch. Shut the fuck up. This is slightly less charming, by the way, than the game thinks it is. Uh, I'm allergic to daffodils. Like, I'm sure these are the characters and as they're written. I just think it's... It's actually getting in the way of pacing uh, as am I talking by the way I get that <laughs> but like that's that was just literally halting the line uh, uh, daffodil lane is a few miles from here happen to know uh, that the lane has a lot of daffodils hence the shitty name given their relative rarity elsewhere in the country I believe the page may have originated there I'd rather avoid going there myself I'm too important to get mildly uncomfortable oh yes and don't think, don't think I didn't notice. Uh, 
I, so the, one of the reasons I, I'm talking is a good thing, by the way, because I'm never going to fully get your game in half an hour. So if I'm talking about stuff, that means it's, it's there's something interesting about it for me to stop and say, because I'm never going to be able to finish it. Only a real loser would write fan fiction about the king in the yellow. Is a joke about the author of of whatever, whoever made this game. I get that right. It's meta humor. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm busy brainstorming slogans for my student union presidency can campaign. I'm going to assume, considering this is a sequel, but it's like the same characters do a different thing, that this is a person who semi has a semi following. You know, you've got enough people who who follow your characters. You know, like how comic, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, webcomic websites. Like, y you can have like 50 people follow you and that's a good enough reason to keep writing it. Probably more than 50, right? Let's be generous. So it's it's good art. Uh, it, it's unique. Uh, let's not do a review yet because I've not finished the video. Man, it might go downhill. I'm just, I'm sort of just trying to justify me not reading it. I'm going to continue reading it now. I'm, I'm, so, I'm just saying the reason I'm, I'm not reading is because I'll never get to the end and there's something I thought was worth saying. Uh, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep my, the rest of my thoughts till after the video. Right now, I'm thinking knowledge through unity, unity through Nikita. Oh, Jews. Okay, no, I'm just. I'm, okay. The reason I think all this is because this dialogue is those two talking. If that makes any sense? No, I'm, I don't think I'm making any sense. This dialogue isn't... It, it, it should... not Normally, it would either be introducing the characters or introducing the concept. But it's not. It's doing character work between, between these two. It keeps interrupting itself to, uh, you know, Unity through Nikita. To just say, these characters are acting in a way that you expect them to. Don't we love these characters? And that's... It's quite difficult for a brand new person to come in and go, Oh, I hope you know you better like these characters. Because they're gonna be doing character work more than plot work. And it's slightly distracting just going in blind. That's my own fault. It literally says on the page, There's a thing, play this first. And I haven't, so yes. Anyway, that's I'm, I'll try not to interrupt anymore. As a thank you for saving my, your life, you're kindly going to Daffodil Lane and finding the rest of that play for me. Good, thanks. I still wasn't convinced there'd be anything to find, but I kind of wanted Nikita to leave my room before she noticed I'd left some of my underwear on the floor. I mean, I hadn't agreed to it yet, but fine, I'll go. To stop being rude, so rude to me, it's not good work relationship. Fantastic. Thank you for being so accommodating, Trixie. I'll let you get on with it. I'll have some books to read. Nikita brushed off some dust off her shirt and left without a goodbye. According to my laptop, it was still pretty early. I guess I should get going. I may as well get over, get this over with so Nikita stops bothering me. I found some snacks. I knew I'd need them on my quest, errand, whatever this crap was. Hmm, a 20 pack of cheese ropes. I fucking love artificial fla flavorings. I found my phone under an old shirt. Not that it came in much use. It can basically only take calls and receive messages after years of wear and tear. My phone light flickers unless you constantly shake it like a maraca, so I brought along a torch as well. Torch seemed like one of those things it's good to have when you're looking for things. In retrospect, I should have made sure it had batteries in before I left. I crammed everything in part to my bat bag. Are you a bat? A lot of people accuse me of having a bat fetish because of all my bat products, but it's not true. Uh, I just like the bat cartoon Cyber Draculas. Draculas. Okay, I see what you did there. From space. From a few years ago, but there's no official merchandise for it, and those bats were really cute. So I think I saw on Twitter. I know, I know, I keep interrupting. I'm sorry. Uh, on Twitter the other day, like in this world, I like it's less important. Oh, hang on, sorry. Let finish your thought, John. In a world where everyone's a different animal, dressing up as animals, presumably, is like slightly racist like for instance Final Fantasy 
11 or 14, whichever one it is. Uh, there are like Playboy bunny suits, and then they introduce the Viera. And you gotta wonder, what did the Viera th think of like girls generically dressing up as rabbits? Like, because they're rabbits. Anyway, are there bat people in this world who would just be unhappy with Trixie wearing bat paraphernalia? Is what I'm getting at. I got distracted by, by my laptop for a while. Well, like three hours, but I got a lot of work done. Kind of. The two hour trek through the countryside during the worst heat wave in the century took its toll on me. I'd never been good with summer. I usually just hide inside, so I'd underestimated how hard it would be out in the sun. It was also about here I realized I never cleaned up cereal on my floor. I did eventually reach Daffodil Lane. I took a little rest in some shade and got my bearings. Phew. I'm assuming you're a mouse. I hope the weather gets worse soon. I could use some rain to cool me off. I mean, that's jolly better weather than weather. Uh, I, I took a look. I'm going to take a sip out of it. I took a look down the lane from my vantage point. Four quaint little cottages dotted the dirt road. Dotted the dirt road. Uh, and at the far end was a, a tree line of Blue Hill Woods. I'd been in the woods once before as a part of my course. They were old and filled with interesting landmarks. I considered taking a walk in them once I sorted out the play stuff. It was probably cooler under the trees. Parsnip. Hi! Ah! A small, rather eccentric looking rabbit appeared behind me and was distracted. Before I could say anything, he held out a weird yellow string. Since we're such great friends, I made you a friendship string. The friendship string was about six inches tattered yarn seemingly dipped in yellow acrylic paint and sprinkled with what appeared to be sugar. It was faintly disturbing on a level I can't communicate even after everything that transpired in the following days. I added sugar so you can taste if it, it if you get hungry. I hope you like it best friend. He seemed proud of himself. I dipped it. Are we telling this story from the future? Confused, I took the string out of the rabbit's paw and held it up for a closer look. Our rabbit's paw's lucky in this world. Looked just as bad up close. Took the string away in my bag. Thanks. I am parsnip, that's my cottage. Jab to paw. The nearest cottage. The one with a well kept daffodil patch in front of it. Paw sign with my cottag. Written on, the st on it, stood on the path next to it, clearly marking the cottage. Someone's cottage? Oh, hi, Parsnip. My name's Trixie. I'm looking for a book that might be around here. Have you heard of The King in Yellow? Wow, I love yellow. Oh, wow, it's my favourite colour. Oh, okay. Well, it's good that you like yellow. A book though, do you know it? Obviously not. I don't read books. They're so boring. I'm parsnip and I'm a fun bun. I want to come play with me. Why is it? Hang on. Yeah, I guess it is all. I don't know, but like, that, so, whatever. I'm making a choice so it hasn't happened yet. That's what's confusing around me. Like, when you say a thing's happened, then I'm like, oh yeah, that's the thing that's never happened. But then now you're asking me what's about to have happened. And that's really weird tense-wise. Oh, 
This is getting too weird. I want it out. Ah, look at that. Pointed into the distance. Fastnick just stared at me. I'd much rather look at you, you think. Ah, okay. Well, I can't come play with you right now because, like, I have to find a book for my friend, remember? Wow, that sounds really exciting. You're like a detective. Oh, I mean, it's a, a more an indebted servant. Stop doing that. I have to look at this every fucking time. Like, you can just have that. If I'm, if I'm pressing the forward button, I can understand that it got cut off. Like, I know that it's bad that, like, when you watch, like, bad anime or whatever, and they leave a gap after the cutoff, I know that's bad. But, like, that's quite a lot of writing for me to miss. Like, clear, clearly, that was all said before it was cut off. Oh, I mean, it's more like indebted servitude thing, like, I don't really care about it. But my acquaintance of Kito was like, you owe me a favour, so good game. Ah, cool, that's amazing. Um, before I could begin to formulate a response to Parsnip, the sound of a cuckoo clock blared from inside his cottage. It was loud, even from a good 50 foot away. Uh oh, it's time for trumpet practice. I'll talk to you later, new friend. He merrily skipped off to his cottage. Okay, bye. I crossed Pastnip off my list of potential owners of the Forbidden Play. He didn't seem like someone who'd own anything that required reading. I started to walk down the lane past the out of tune trumpeting blasting from the Pastnip's cottage. I'm not convinced he even had the trumpet the right way around. Never could make noise out the wrong way around. I figured I'd try the next cottage. It didn't look as well kept as Pastnip's. But I could see Art Easel set up in the garden, which piqued my interest. An arty person might have a copy of an evil play just to make a statement. Hey, cool. An artist. I can relate to them. I drew a picture once. I approached the cottage and caught sight of a rabbit lounging in a deck chair, smoking and drinking wine. Classy. She was tall, stylish and pretty. I was pretty hyped to meet what I assumed to be a a famous artist. Either she did see me or chose to ignore me. Either she didn't see me or she chose to ignore me. I noticed her cigarette and wasn't even lit. Hey, um, uh, hi. I live nervously. Is she inexplicably French? Uh, I was used to talking to professional artists who were probably rich. She tilted back her sunglasses down to slightly look at me before pushing them back up. Called it. Hello? I mean, might not be French, but like, I'm, cu I'm counting that as a win. <laughs> I trailed off. My head felt light from the heat. I swayed to side to side, starting to get knocked, binging a drink. Sorry, I, I don't have any water with me, so I'm a little out of it. Anyway, like, I just walked from the university and I'm like, looking for... What? Let me read the thing! I put a play for a friend. She thinks it's around. Wait, you walked all the way here from the university without any water in this heat I remember letting out a quiet yes and collapsing but not much else until I woke up a few minutes later the rabbit's face was looking down at me from her deck chair she looked mildly concerned but apparently not enough to move me from being face down in the dirt fainted and with that I'm going to continue it. Ah, are you okay? I think so. Could I maybe have some water? I bought some out for you already. Uh, I'm actually going to... Oh, you can actually click back. They all use this. Is there... There's a program for making them there. Let's see what happens if I get a bit more forward. Okay, also it's not 
saying anything. Alright, let's see what the third rabbit looks like. Third rabbit. No. That's not a rabbit. That's a hyena. Oh, right, one thing I'm gonna mention is I do like the music. I like the idea this this is a, it's the same song with the different instruments for different characters. Presumably, at some point. They're going to have two characters in the same scene and both versions are going to play at once, or something like that. Anyway, let's jump 24 hours in the future where I talk about it some more after digesting it for 24 hours, and then we'll see what the next game is. Right, we are here to talk about the testimony of Trixie Glimmer Smith, and, uh, and also I'm going to draw the sounds. That's very good. I think that fits in with the uh, the theme. The theme. Right. Can't hear the sounds though because I've taken the headphones off. So we're going to want some black. And then we're going to want some sort of smudgy. Oh, actually, I like that as well. Let's do that first. Just all over the place. Black on black. Very spooky. And some smudgy yellow. Kind of upwards. Uh, so, yes. We'll is that smudgy? Yeah, let's say that's smudgy. I might put some black on it as well, just to make it extra smudgy. A little bit. Let's add some more yellows. This is Carcosa, by the way. In case you uh, couldn't tell. It's a pretty bad Carcosa. Honest, I thought I could be subtler with this black. Oh, yeah, we can be subtle. It's a pretty rubbish cocker, so I put <laughs> But uh, what are you going to do, eh? I'm going to draw a cartoon mouse on top of this. Uh, so, what did I think? Well, it was a visual novel, and I only got to see the first half of an hour of it because of my own stupid rules. Uh, but, obviously, uh, the, the art's great, it's a cartoonish style. Uh, and obviously the tone of the game is quite adult, so it's kind of in uni unique territory, uh, although I'm not entirely sure it works. Um, I'm just, just going to add more of this on the outside, there's a third black type. Uh, yeah. uh, anyway, let's well, draw a mouse. I happen to have a picture uh, in front of me, so which is going to help me out. out. Um, so in fact, and we have the correct colours as well and everything. So, we've got white. Let's draw white. There you go. There's some white. Lovely. Uh, we're going to need some ears as well. It's going to be a great picture book. I mean, your mileage might vary, but it's going to be greatish. There's a neck. Uh, that's some arms over there. And uh, that's what <laughs> I just I, I have to do this because one, I've got the pitch in front of me, and I just happen to have the correct colors, and like that's great. <laughs> anyway, we have some pink ears. Lovely. I think she's a mouse. Got a pink top. Like so. Can we we can even add some black outline to it. What do you, do you think of the game though, John? Uh, we have also pink eyes. Pink nose. And uh Just gonna let's check. Oh, 
pop it out there. We're going to need some black because the eyes are bigger than that. Okay. Lovely. Mouth as well. And that's it. Uh, I like I could go around. I'm not going to do that there. I think <laughs> that's as close as I'm going to be able to get. Uh, that's I feel like that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad at all. It's pretty bad. The eyes could have been better. That looks like she's wearing glasses. I feel like no. To, yeah, fine. I'll leave the white out. Yeah, that, uh, uh, that's Trixie, Glimmer Smith. Right, what did you think of the game, John? I thought it was okay. I thought it was quite funny in parts. Uh, I, I, they didn't. I can't remember if it was choices enough. I, I think the sort of mix between the sort of horror, the cartoonishness, the sort of swearingness was just kind of an odd, odd balance of tone. But I think. Uh, uh, it kind of felt like a sequel like it felt like I was supposed to know things because it blatantly was so I can't really hold that against the, the story but it also felt like that this was made for a specific fan base and not like a young people like sometimes that happens or girls like sometimes that happens I think it was made for like a, a people that knew the author that loved the characters oh there's more of her asshole remake yay uh, whereas like coming from this just blind I guess I'm like nah, do I really want to take on like it felt like it leaned very much on the character's personality rather than the plot uh, and since I didn't know the characters that sort of worked against it but other than that it seemed, it seemed like it was fine uh, uh, test Maloney of Trixie Smith Just hand it in. I think it's a really good picture after that. Right, that was the testimony of Trixie Glimmer Smith by Digital Poppy. Our next game is Bomb Bomb. Bomb 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 Bomb. A short horror story about your childhood, specifically your childhood. Play a few games. I want to press that button. Now we press the button. Bom 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 bom. Uh, right. Ooh. Very excited about that. Uh, a sh short, smart tale about domestic horror. Small child in the 80s. That's me. You've been there. Just your friendly toys. But this new friend, this is something you're not able to understand. Ooh. Really? You want me to have a GTX 950 for this? How well optimised is it? I mean, it looks nice, but... Yeah, it's just not very well optimised. Okay, um... It's fair enough, because it's difficult to do when it's just like one of you. Uh, I mean, again, there's lots of light as well, so... 
Uh, I'm being very judgy for something I you came in the 1980s. This is literally how it could literally be me, apart from that uh, TV's not black and white. Um, anyway, 20 to 40 minutes. We might even be able to finish it. Right, let's quickly go back into the game. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to tap really fast and see if I can get that. Right. I, I don't know how long I'm willing to do this for, but yeah, we've only. Oh, you, Greg doesn't get a song. This cow does, though. Greg. The problem with the dynamic music is it has been playing the same song for half an hour. With different instruments, but it's still the same song. Yellow sign. It's not the yellow sign. Uh, hang on. Sorry, uh, it could be the yellow sign. It probably doesn't. I know a yellow sign from Arkham Horror LCG, but they probably drew that themselves, right? The yellow sign's probably just, you know, from a book. He probably didn't know. But it was, it was a symbol. Does mention but Carcosa. I think I think it was the pallid stranger in the game. I don't know if he's from the thing. Do I ever call Carcosa? Is that the thing? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I've seen a Kakusa. Oh, they're hitting it. Because it's a place. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I've been John Proxia. This has been uh, the next step in my Itch Eye Odyssey. Uh, a game about Trixie Smith. Parsnip. Ooh. I've met Parsnip now. Parsnip was there with Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you.